winding path, and he was just coming off the best game of his career when the unthinkable happened. Day 281. 281 days since I've got hurt. 281 days since I haven't played a game alive. 281 days that I've been fighting depression, gaining strength from God, working my butt off every day on the court, in the weight room, in the training room, and in my mind. Remembering where you've been helps to show you where you are. For Baylor forward Jonathan Chamo Chachua, that means reliving one of his most traumatic experiences. Chamo Chachua is down. He went down awkwardly at midcourt, just, I think, on his left knee. I feel like time slowed down for me at that moment. I just felt like my leg was curling in the wrong way. I felt like I just I extended just a little bit. I was just about to get back up, and that's where the pain started coming in. I didn't see it. You know, I just saw him on the ground, and, you know, I could see how much he was grimacing, and uh, everybody was just covering their face. Just his overall behavior. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Signified that something was seriously wrong. We got him to the training room with assistance, and right away, you do a couple of evaluations, and you knew that he had significant damage to his knee. The extent that it ran the risk of affecting him for the rest of his life. That was emotionally one of those nights you don't ever forget from the standpoint you knew it was bad, but when you find out the injury that he had and the fact that he might not be able to walk again, um, you're devastated for him. Four days later, Chama Chachua underwent surgery to repair multiple torn ligaments in his left knee. During the surgery, doctors discovered he severed his perineal nerve, leaving him unable to lift his foot. When he first got hurt, the surgeon had given him some time frames. Once he had seen the true extent of the damage, he said that, you know, the return time could be, you know, a couple years, if ever. What did you feel in that moment? I just crumbled. I felt like everything was over for me. I was in a really dark space during that time. I don't think I actually slept. I was just crying all day. It's really hard for somebody to think about playing a game of basketball, especially at a high level, when you can't walk, when you literally can't control your ankle. Chama Chachua quickly realized what he could control, and even without the ability to walk, he got to work. For three days after the incident, I'm looking out my window, and he's down there doing form shooting on the chair, and I about cried. I was like, this guy's relentless. My heart just... Went out to him looking down there, see, I can't believe he's back at it. Over the next nine months, he trained with coaches and staff. And with the help of a special brace that holds his foot in place, he was able to return to practice. Then, on February 4th, 358 days after his injury, Chama Chachua returned to the court for the first time. Substitution here in the wake up. He was so loud, I couldn't hear my name. He was so loud. I tried to play cool, but I was just so excited to just be able to run up and down. He came in, it was like, he's about to play with me. Like, I was a fan because I didn't see so much he'd been through. Anytime somebody goes through an injury like he did, you always can expect them to be a little bit less of what they were. And just to be able to see him still be able to have that same pop, that same power, is just amazing. If you ask all the professionals, and the doctors, to everyone involved, I don't think anyone would have thought he had been on the court this year. But they didn't ask Jonathan Chama Chacha. It was just so fun to be out there having no expectation for myself, but just feeling grateful. I don't go out there to try to catch 20 rebounds, go 20 points. I just go out there and celebrate the grace of God. I've seen myself as a working miracle. There was a time when it was too hard. He thought about giving up. And I want to give a shout out to his girlfriend, Lauren Harrison. She said, absolutely not. You will not quit. And so he didn't. Jonathan is now playing for Baylor. He's played in the last four games. He's averaging almost seven points a game in 20 minutes. 
And he's shooting the three. That form pay, that form shooting in the in the gym paid off 44 percent from three. So when he steps on this court today, Kansas, give him a big round of applause because he is a walking miracle. Holly, it is a tremendous story. December, on a scale of one to five, the nerve function in his knee was still at zero. Now, it takes six to eight months to wake up, doctors say, and he's still able to perform at a high level. Now, this is the difference he made on and off the court last season, and Baylor's hoping there's a similar impact defensively because in terms of defensive efficiency, the Bears are last in the Big 12 right now, but they've been much better with him on the floor. So what, what about the impact and the return from this injury from Jonathan Jamal Joshua? Well, I, I found myself getting a little choked up because I had so